Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be replacing a compressor for a walk-in wine cooler. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. Here we have a water-cooled condensing unit and we're going to be replacing this compressor right here. This was already previously troubleshooted and this is, has locked rotor. Previous tech said that the refrigerant was already recovered. Just double checking, we have zero pounds of pressure. All right, so there's no refrigerant in the system. We have confirmed that. And this is a 208 single phase system and we don't have any voltage. We could begin by taking apart all this electrical. So we have a whip here coming from this switch. So this is our power. We confirm that the switch is working. We have no power. Then we have this BX cable that go up here that feed the air handler inside the wine room. And we have another BX here that go inside this dual pressure control. So let's take this all out and get ready for the new compressor. As reference, I definitely recommend taking some photos and also maybe taking down some notes just in case you need to remember the old wiring. All right, so here's the BX for our dual pressure control, high and low refrigerant pressure. Leave those out of the way. Then we have this coming in for our main power. So our power's out of the way, pressure control's out of the way, and now we have just have this last BX right here, two wires. One is already disconnected, and then we have our next one here leading into the relay. All right, that's it. Everything's out of our way. All this comes out with the compressor. From here, we have four nuts and bolts to loosen up for the mount of our compressor. So for this compressor, you can see right here, this is a rotor lock connection. I already loosened it up. So our suction line comes apart just like this. Right there. Here's the new compressor. So you can see the suction line here was a rotor lock. Here it actually points out to the side and it's a sweat connection. So I wanted to reconfigure the piping. We have a processing tube on this one. I'm just gonna crimp that shut and close it. And then our discharge seems to be in the same place. I might not have to redo that, but we will have to redo the suction line. And let's get everything in place. We can lock down our compressor so we keep its position and reconfigure the piping. I sand it down the edge of this pipe and this looks like it's going to fit perfectly in here. So that's going to be our discharge. This one we're going to cap off as our processing. And as far as here, I got to cut this pipe out and rebuild it and I might as well get this out of my way while I rebuild it back there. I took off this flare so I can get this out of my way. We're gonna cut this pipe out and make all our necessary alterations. All right, I just cut this out. So basically I need to rebuild from here to here and then I can connect my new filter dryer on this end. That's, this pipe goes into here and this has to come inside here. It's our suction that's insulated. So let's repipe this. I cut some of that pipe out. So instead of swinging all the way around, 
It actually just swings right in through right there. And I drilled in a hole and put a pigtail. So the pipe just swings in. So it's much better. No fittings, no turns. connections are made actually brazed on a second fitting here so we could read pressure this one is for our pressure control all right we brazed all our connections close that off now we could just spin off this filter dryer and replace it with a new one always make sure that your filter dryer is in the right position there's an arrow on it and your arrow is always going to be leaving your condensing unit on its way to the air handler. Now we can pressurize the system and check for any leaks. And once we confirm there's no leaks, we can put the system in a vacuum. And from here, we have to put back all the wires and make sure everything works electrically. All right, so inside here, we have a potential relay a run capacitor here's a start capacitor and we have two leads to come in they just want to feed this with 208 which is going to be these two but we also have to run in our pressure control and these wires which lead into the box so let's get everything wired up all right so we got all our wiring inside everything is nice and neat i just rewired everything according to this diagram with my little notes as well that i wrote down everything is fine so we also checked for leaks. We pressurized the system with nitrogen. Then we checked with liquid solution, all of our joints to make sure everything's good. Now it's time to put the system in a vacuum. And once it's done with the vacuum and it holds a vacuum, we can start the system up, charge it with the refrigerant, and yeah. This looks great. All right, we confirmed there's no leaks right now. We got the system in a vacuum. Hopefully you guys can see we're in 30 inches. Got everything wired. And from here, it's gonna have everything started up. And we're gonna charge the refrigerant. All right, we got 5.4 amps. Turn on the power, everything started. Now we're just gonna finish charging up our system check temperatures make sure the thermostat satisfied and everything but this was a beautiful job right here i had to adjust my water regulating valve because my pipes are super cold double checked everything again once again for leaks no leaks here's the finished product of what this compressor looks like i think it looks absolutely fantastic we cut down on that pipe so it just leads straight in we added two pigtails, one for pressure for our gauges, testing pressures, and the second one was for our pressure control. Everything looks absolutely fantastic. I always like to wipe down and clean up my work. And if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you all next time.